Today, we're going to be talking about how to manage your property remotely as a foreign citizen. Mm -hmm. Hello there, my name is Luciano Rivera, I am a Brazilian attorney and today we are here in Fortaleza, Ceará and we're going to be talking about how to manage your property remotely as a foreign citizen. After you buy your apartment or beach house, you're probably going to go back to your country of origin and you may be visiting Brazil once, twice or three times a year, sometimes more. What kind of obligations you're going to have? You're going to need to pay the annual tax. The annual tax is usually paid monthly or if you pay in a single shot, you usually get a small discount. You're gonna need to pay the HOA fees. And trust me, nobody's gonna get your money from abroad via a wire transfer. They are not gonna take your money by wise remittly. So the money needs to come to Brazil and someone gotta pay it locally. Unless you have a bank account and to have a bank account, first you need to acquire some type of status in Brazil. So nine times out of 10, the buyer does not have this legal resident status and therefore does not have a bank account you need a property manager to get this out of the way in Fortaleza Sierra there are no professional property management companies that are going to work with a single property if you have a portfolio if you have 20 properties then you may hire a, a property management company but you have a single apartment that you bought for I don't know like seventy thousand dollars a hundred thousand dollars you're not going to find any company willing to do so unless you're going to be paying like a thousand dollars a month just for their service which you don't want to do so most people they are going to kind of find individuals who are going to kind of perform this role of property manager not rarely it's going to be someone who's going to be taking care of the cleaning so if there is a housekeeper who's going to be coming to your property twice a month you may be paying a somewhat higher fee for the cleaning in order for her to also maybe pay the HOA fees keep an eye if there is some fixing to be done gather mail that you get in the property and I know it sounds weird, it doesn't sound much like a legal advice, but I'm telling you how things are done in reality. The vast majority of buyers, they are going to rely on informal relationships for their property to be taken care of. You can create an extended network so you are not with just a single person. You could, you know, make friends with your neighbors in the building. Many foreign citizens, when they come to Brazil, they have this desire to to create new connections, to learn about the local culture, to make friends. So this is a, a, an opportunity for you to accomplish those goals while you're getting a network of friends who are going to be looking after your property. In addition, you can also have cameras like in the US, you, for instance, you have the ring cameras, you have the Nest cameras. In Brazil, there is Intelbras, a Brazilian brand. They, of course, bring this stuff from China, but they do a good job in terms of servicing those devices and doing some quality assurance before selling these products. So you don't need to bring this stuff from abroad. You can buy it locally and price-wise is usually even cheaper here in Brazil. And you can install a couple of cameras in the apartment so you can see what's going on. You make sure nobody's coming to sleep in your apartment you can see when the cleaning lady is coming so that helps a lot for your comfort of knowing that things are actually happening as people are telling you and that's how we see most of our clients handling their properties finally there is an alternative if you don't know any housekeepers if you not really good at making friends in your building. There is a way out if you do short-term rentals. In this case, you may be able to find companies who are gonna handle the short-term rentals on your behalf and as a bonus they are going to be managing your property right so if something breaks during the the short-term rental they are going to fix it up of course with your authorization they may help you pay the HOA fees which are paid every single month they may help you pay the monthly installments of the annual property tax and you may even make some money enough to pay for the HOA costs for the annual property tax and to simply keep 
keep your property in good shape so when you travel to Brazil, you may even have some money set aside, not bad, right? To even enjoy your vacation here with the money that your property is helping you make. Well, I hope these tips were helpful. I hope you like our video and follow us for more tips. <music>